Hi there, and welcome to a new hotel review by Yes and Explore. After our flight from Hanoi, we've arrived in Singapore, and before we went to our hotel, we decided to check out the waterfall at Jewel Changi Airport. We found a Shake Shack and were instantly hungry, so we decided to go for some burgers, sprinkle cut fries, and milkshakes. It was quite busy there, but luckily we found a spot, waited for our order, and feasted on some delicious greasy food. After our hamburger craving was satisfied, we headed to our hotel. And it took us a while to find a hotel with a good location for a decent price, because Singapore is so very pricey compared to the rest of Southeast Asia. We decided on booking the Hotel G in Singapore. The location of this hotel was the deciding factor for us, as it's very close to the Ben Coolen MRT, which gets you easily to some of Singapore's top sites, such as the Marina Bay Sands area and the Gardens by the Bay. If you enter the hotel from the street level, you'll step into their bar slash restaurant first. And from there on, you're directed to the elevators and you head up to the reception desk on the second floor. If you arrive by car, you'll enter straight from the parking garage into the reception, which truthfully makes a whole lot more sense than stepping into the bar first and then heading up with the elevator. But we made it easily and check-in went smoothly. We paid 110 euros per night, including breakfast for a great room win. Their words, not ours. And as you can see, the reception area is looking quite inviting and really has this vibe of, hey, we're here to welcome young people. Our room was on the 12th floor and as always, Lawrence is here to welcome us into the room. When you enter the room, you see that it is rather long and narrow, so there's no room for a closet or a cupboard. Instead, there's space to put your luggage and hang a few clothes. Then when you look to your right, you see what the hotel builders would surely describe as a deconstructed bathroom, meaning that the sink is in the room itself. We found it super useful that you're able to use the sink when the other person is um, occupying the bathroom. So this situation was fine for us. The actual bathroom, of course, is quite small with the toilet facing the shower, and the shower did have some really great water pressure and it didn't feel very cramped because the ceilings are very high. Leaving the bathroom, there is a giant mirror, presumably to make the 15 square meter room feel a little bigger. And yet the room comes with plenty of extra amenities such as a hairdryer, flip flops and a nice and spacious desk. We were hoping to find some likes and subscribers there, so if you can help us out, we would appreciate it enormously. Underneath, there's a tiny fridge with a scary looking light and also a torch. Here we have the two twin beds and underneath one of the beds, there is a sink. As for the beds, they were on the firmer side, but we're kind of used to that now, so we enjoyed these beds. Further in the room, you'll find some nice decoration and a really fun lamp. Of course, there's uh, also a TV, which was extendable and comes with a welcome message. Even though it's a small room, we liked it a lot because they incorporated a lot of details in a smart way without making it feel cramped. And given the prices for hotels in Singapore, we decided that space is just one of these trade-offs that you have. For the breakfast, we go back to the restaurant where we entered the hotel. And breakfast is a buffet-style breakfast with all the classic hot and cold dishes, such as noodles, rice, curry, salad, eggs, toast, yogurts, and fruits.
In the seating area, they also had a separate station with pastries where they served waffles, muffins, cake, and also some pancakes. I have to say, these were very tasty and even the bread was actually pretty good. Lucky it wasn't busy because the seating seems a little limited for such a big hotel. But for the breakfast they really had a lot of options and everything tasted fine so we were really happy that it was included in our rate. Lastly we wanted to check out the gym but unfortunately we found out that you have to make a reservation at the reception if you want to use it. Um, we didn't want to do that so there's no gym images for you but here's a small impression um, of what we could film and also some pictures with images of things that you could possibly do at the gym. We would definitely recommend this hotel if you're looking for an affordable, modern and convenient hotel in Singapore. We really enjoyed our two night stay here and we hope that you enjoyed watching this video. We want to thank you so much for watching and if you want to see our VIP bus trip from Singapore to Kuala Lumpur, stay tuned and subscribe to us at Yes and Explore. Bye!